Hi, I'm Akila Grant with DIY Power Couple. In this video, we're gonna give Dad a smart upgrade. We'll be replacing his old outlet that does not have enough room to charge all his devices with a new smart chip technology USB charger. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, share with your family and friends, and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you can DIY too. Home improvement. With love. This Father's Day, the kids and I found a gift that dad could always use. This was a quick and affordable DIY project that needed only a few supplies. We decided to upgrade his regular outlet by installing a dual USB with smart chip technology charging outlet for his side table. The goal is to make it easier for dad to charge his devices without needing so many plug-in adapters or power bricks. I first used a socket tester to make sure the existing outlet provided power. The kids helped to pick out the gift, but mom did the install since the project involved electricity. The two lights indicated power and that it was correctly wired. Okay, now I'm in the garage and we're going to cut off the power. That's important, so I'm at the fuse box. Let's see. Fire. Master bed and bath. Amps. And we'll turn it off. Okay, that's an important part to turn off the power. And now we'll check that the power is off at the outlet. Okay, so we're going to check that we do not have power before we start tampering with the outlet. So we'll use this again. No power, so that's good. <laughs> So that's good, so we can start with our upgrade. The next step was to remove the screws holding the faceplate and outlet. I was a little nervous since this was my first time installing an electrical outlet. When I pulled out the old outlet, I could see the white, black, and copper wires. The copper ground wire remained in its hook shape and was much easier to unlatch. I tried to unscrew them but ended up having to cut the white and black wires to disconnect. I used the wire cutters to cut the wires near the ends. Now this next step was the most difficult for me. I had to use the wire stripper to take off the insulation from each of the hot and neutral wires. You have to be careful not to damage or cut the wire while stripping. I was so happy when I finally got the hang of it. I was curious to see how this new USB outlet would look. You can also get one with a USB-C port for most Apple devices. I like that it was well labeled. The silver terminal for the neutral wire and the gold one for the hot wire. The greenish blue screw on the bottom was for the ground wire. The directions were straightforward and the diagram was easy to follow. The thing is, they only show you what to connect, but not really how. They do have a chart to show you how much insulation to strip off. I guess that's why there's YouTube DIY videos like this one. The next step was to insert all the wires into their corresponding terminals. I realized I cut off too much insulation, making the exposed wire too long. However, it was an easy fix to adjust the length with the wire cutters.
Once they were in, I secured the terminal clamps by tightening the screws. At first I had trouble getting the copper wire to hook securely. Once I made a few adjustments, the hook was able to fit and point in the same direction as the screw tightens. Now it was time to check that all the screws were secure and the wires were tight. Getting the wires in the new, larger USB outlet to fit back into the junction box required some patience. I had to keep pressing the wires back without disconnecting anything. Eventually, after a few tries, it all went in. There were many times in this project I used a flathead screwdriver when I probably should have used a Phillips. I made sure the outlet looked level before I tightened the screws to the faceplate. I'm just glad it still turned out better than before. Okay, so now it's time to turn the power back on. I'm excited. It's the first time I've ever installed an electrical outlet and um, let's turn it back on. Okay, so you see it was off. We'll turn it on. All right, so let's go inside and check and let's try to charge something. We tested dad's phone first. The USB outlet worked and began to charge. We then plugged in my phone to test if the smart chip technology would read it and know to switch to fast charging. This was much better than the old plugins, and it's definitely a nice upgrade for dad. Guys, we did it. We installed our first ever USB charging outlet, and we didn't get electrocuted. <laughs> Hope hubby likes it, and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Hey guys, I really like the convenience of this USB outlet, and I'm thinking about installing it in my kitchen. Here are some other ideal spaces. We'd love to connect with you on social media and thank you for watching.